Legion as really like always. No, I watched E3, but I figured this is just worth it for scary movie fans and all that stuff. And maybe you just just didn't hear about it. Blair Witch the game, people. Just take it all in. Oh shit. What the? Huh. I was watching. Uh, I'll just wait. Went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills forest. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, bullet. It looks bullet. great. I mean, I know it's more like a CGI. It looks like it's, it looks like it's in-game rendered. I don't like that. I'm not completely sure. Maybe not. It looks good though. Even if it's just a CGI trailer. Best part right here, man. Or oh. look at the handprints. Who are? Ooh, I didn't see that in the original trailer. Who are? There it is. What is that? Oh. Okay. No, I McGee. Got it. Okay, boy. Let's find this kid. Do, 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 do. Like reminds me of like uh, Fear the or The Walking Dead. That's pretty cool, man. So I was watching Drop Frames, uh, which is a podcast. And I was watching the other. Um, oh, and I was watching. When is this pre-order now? August thirtieth, twenty nineteen. Um, I was watching the. Um, the YouTuber, at least it, that's where I always see them. Uh, it's the, the bald guy and his girlfriend or wife or whatever. They're always on the couch and the green screen's next to them, behind them, and that's where all the stuff's at. I forgot their YouTube channel. Um, I think they're Canadian. They moved to, like, Tokyo or something. I was watching them. And they're pretty... He's a pretty cynical guy. Like, he's just like, this is fucking stupid. But when they stop talking, it's, it's a good show. Um, uh, but I, I like watching them. I like kind of checking out what they're doing and everybody like from drop frames to them i was watching a lot of these people like what i watched their e3 coverage after the fact and like i remember a lot of people were, like in the twitch chat because it's a youtube video but it's i think it's an original twitch channel they're like alan wake is this alan wake is this fucking uh, um oh fuck i can't I remember the damn name of that stupid game the um the one that takes place in like the asylum it's, it, they have two of them out now. Oh, Outlast. They're like, is this Outlast three? Like, there's a lot of people that are making a lot of sub. Uh, oh my god, I'm starting over my word here. Assumptions. Jeez, I kept saying assumptions, which is, was fucking me up. When I was watching it, I instantly knew what it was. Uh, I'm not okay. Maybe not. I don't want to seem like I'm bragging. I didn't instantly know when they went into the cabin and I saw the camera pop up. That was for a lot of people that play games. That was like Outlast, but for me, I was like, "Oh no, no, a cabin in the woods." That's Blair Witch. So I didn't, I didn't like I said, I didn't necessarily know when we saw the goofy guy driving the fucking Ford Bronco and his dog or something. So technically, I didn't. But I saw that and I'm like, "Oh, this is gonna be good." The the creatures running around, the little light fiery guy flying around. I didn't know what the hell that was. Um, and I got we, there's a lot of stuff in there that I didn't see. I haven't I haven't I still haven't watched the second Blair Witch. Um, I I'm not always in the mood to watch scary stuff. I love scary stuff. It's probably one of my favorite things. But I don't usually just watch it to watch it. I gotta really want to watch it. So I haven't watched the second Blair Witch. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll get the first one and I'll watch them both. Um, because Blair Witch was like the first as far as like. For the most, it, it either was the first or the best at found footage at, at, in its time. 
I think it was the first found footage type of scary movie. Um, before, of course, way before Paranormal Activity or anything like that. Um, but yeah, and then you see the guy in the corner. And there's some people that didn't get it still. Some people didn't realize what it was. And then you can see the hands on the wall, which is like what the the tint in like the first movie looked like. And if there's something like that from the second movie, I don't know. Um, and the guy that was watching, the, the ball guy, he was just like, he thought like this was like, kind of like not a ripoff, but inspired by Blair Witch. He was like, this is very Blair Witchy kind of. And then it actually was Blair Witch. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, this kind of seemed like Blair Witch, but we never would expect that an actual Blair Witch game would be made because that would be weird. Um, so, yeah, it was it was awesome watching the people react to it. I mean, I watched the first Blair Witch when I was 12 or 11, I think, um, way back when. And it's still one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, especially out of the scary genre. Uh, I, I, I'm really excited to kind of check out the second one, rewatch the first one, see... Just kind of how how it, uh, I hope the second one's not disappointing. Um, I haven't heard anything about it. The the new Halloween was really good, but uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I could ramble on scary stuff forever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, this this movie's gonna be pretty good. I can't I can't wait. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.